A new note today from Wolf Research downgrading several credit card issuers, saying hot inflation and rising gas prices will hurt lower end consumers, impacting names like Capital One and Synchrony Financial. The analyst behind that call joins us now, Bill Carcacci from Wolf Research. Bill, it's good to have you. Do you not think these concerns around the low income consumer and credit quality and deterioration are already priced into the stocks? Hi, Sarah. Actually, I, I don't think that they are. Our concern is that there is incremental pressure on the low-end consumer as a result of, as we look at the developments uh, post-Russia-Ukraine, uh, even if there is a peaceful settlement tomorrow, the risk of inflationary pressures remaining elevated for longer, particularly if Russia remains isolated, are quite high. And issuers, credit card issuers with elevated exposure to that low-end consumer are at risk of having credit normalized faster. And so we're not talking about a, a draconian credit event, but simply having credit normalized to say 100% of 2019 levels is enough for there to be a, certainly a greater headwind than what we, we think is contemplated in numbers. And, and so that, in our view, is what exposes names like Synchrony Financial, Capital One Financial, which, which have higher subprime credit exposure, Alliance Data Systems, uh, to uh, relative underperformance versus names that have greater prime and super prime exposure like American Express and Discover, which we think are have customer bases that are relatively better positioned to absorb uh, those higher inflationary pressures. So what, what sort of price targets do you have? What sort of downside do you see? And, and are you suggesting a recession here or just weakness in low income consumer? So we're not suggesting a recession. And so this is truly a relative value call. These these stocks before Russia, Ukraine dynamics uh, hit the stocks, they were already trading at low valuations. If you look at their, you know, relative valuations and on a both relative and on, on an absolute basis, they were trading at low valuations versus the historical 135 and 10-year average PE multiples. Um, so, you know, it's certainly not a, an outright call to short these stocks, but on a relative basis, we do see room for relative outperformance to be overweight those names that have greater prime, super prime exposure like Amex and Discover versus the names that have, we, we think you'll get that relative outperformance. We don't see meaningful absolute downside from these depressed valuation levels, uh, but we, we do see that relative outperformance opportunity.